that there are no rookies here. Amen. There's no somebody just got here, just became a Christian. Mm -hmm. Just what I would say, most of us here have been with Jesus for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. And uh, there should be more of a concern for those that are lost because we've been found. Yes. And, and we know how, how wonderful it is to experience Christ. Mm -hmm. And uh, and him find not we finding him. He already knew where we were. Yeah. Him finding us. We find him. <clears throat> and the scriptures teaches that here in the book of uh, <clears throat> Romans. I want to read you something. No, I want to read you something from Matthew first. The book of Matthew, chapter. Chapter 28, I believe it is. Verse 16 through 20. And then we'll go back to Romans because I would, we want this to tie in with God's purpose for the church in some respect. A win and others are allowing others to hear how to call or to teaching others how to call. And Chapter 28, verses uh, 16. And the 11 disciples went to Galilee to a mountain where Jesus directed them. And when they, had, when they saw him, they worshiped him, though some doubted. And that's always the case. And Jesus said, and Jesus said, Jesus came, uh, Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, all power, all authority has been given me, given to me in heaven and on earth. In heaven and on earth. Go therefore and disciple all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Jesus. <laughs> Teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and behold, I am with you all the days until the consummation of time. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Then you go back here to Romans chapter 10, verse 9. That if thou confess with the mouth, and Paul is speaking from an evangelistic perspective here, of winning people to the Lord Jesus Christ. Winning people to the Lord Jesus Christ. Or sharing with people how to call on him. Right? This is calling. If thou confess with the mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Amen. Amen. You will be saved. You will be. This is uh, Paul speaking to those in Rome, in Rome. For with a heart, that means all of you, your whole being, mm -hmm. mind, body, and soul, and all of you, uh, heart, there. There is believing unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Yes. For the scripture says, whosoever mm. believes in him shall not be put to shame. Yes. For there is no distinction mm -hmm. between the Jew and the Greek. Mm -hmm. For the same Lord is Lord oh, wow. of all yes. and rich to all that call upon him. Yes. See, Whosoever. Color, race, they have nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. Whosoever. Whosoever calls upon them and shall be saved. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And I believe it's our responsibility mm -hmm. as his disciples to go into all the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying go to Africa. Mm -hmm. I'm saying go next door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It says here, for, for whosoever yeah. calls upon the name of the Lord Hallelujah. shall be saved. Yeah. And he says something very interesting here. 
And how shall they call upon him whom they have not believed? Yes. And how shall they call upon how shall they believe in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without some Bible said preacher? But I think the best word is to proclaim him. Yeah. Proclaim him. To proclaim him. And how shall they proclaim him unless they are sent? As it is written. How beautiful are the feet of those who announce the new, the new, the good news and good tidings. Mm -hmm. Go ye into all the world and teach my gospel. Mm -hmm. Teach my gospel. We are his disciples, Amen. and so we are to make sure we do everything we, we possibly can under the leadership of the Spirit of Christ to enable others to call. Now, some Bibles, uh, I think the King James Version says, <coughs> preacher, mm -hmm. how can, except they, they preach, yeah. and they be sent. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's not very good. I, we know that preachers aren't necessarily sent, mm -hmm. but those that God has called are sent. You got a lot of preachers, but they ain't sent. Mm -hmm. yeah. You got a lot of uh, people who claim to be believers, but they're not sent. Mm -hmm. But Christ has to send you. Amen. And there's one message that you have, you have for the unbelieving world. You know what that is? Christ loves you. He died on the cross for you. And on the third day, God raised him from the dead. Amen. That is our message. Yeah. Now, all those good things that we're, we're going to enjoy in the, in the, in the consolation of time, at the judgment seat, at the white throne judgment, um, in the New Jerusalem, all this stuff are good for the believer to avoid some of those things, and no thing that Christ had designed for us to enjoy. But we can enjoy him now. Mm -hmm. I think that for me, my heart has always been for those that are lost. Mm -hmm. Those that are hurting. Those that need to hear about mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. Those who are going astray. Those who have gone astray but want to find their way back. So many times uh, our hearts and minds, I'm not saying anybody here, but our focus is mostly centered on ourselves. What God is doing for us, what he can do for us, all that's good. But what God has for those who are called to be disciples, to make other disciples. Uh, Ellen was preaching, teaching this morning about that group that needs to be behind that group that's out on the front line oh, yeah. that's, that's talking for Jesus and sharing Jesus. For those who are proclaiming Jesus and his death his burial, his resurrection. Proclaim them to come unto him, all the labor and heavy laden, and he will give them rest. Yes, Lord. I, I need your prayers because yeah, I love souls. I love to see people come to Jesus. Yeah. I will do anything I can to make sure a person will come to Jesus. Yes. But as little as that appreciated, not appreciated, but little as that is practiced, I think, by the, by the overall church. The overall church is satisfied right where we are. I'm eating, I get good preaching on Sunday morning, mm -hmm. I get good teaching on Wednesday night, uh, and I'm good. But Christ wants us to take another step yeah, yeah. or to look yeah. back at our at the basic training that we have. Yeah. Uh, Ellen talked yeah. about basic training. Everybody who wants to be a good soldier, who wants to be a good uh, believer that's worthy of his calling, got to have basic training. Yeah. Got to go to training camp. Got to f uh, deal with the issues that you don't want to deal with in order to make disciples of others. That may be an uncomfortable position sometimes. Being some place that you don't want to go. Or going places you don't want to go. Or being with people you don't like being around. All that has to do with uh, go ye into all the world and teach my gospel. And if you not if you if you have not been sent, uh, don't feel uh, bad here. But if God has called you, he's called you to make disciples of others. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah. 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 You call on God. Uh, the question was asked last, last night, last week, on Wednesday I believe it was, uh, why do we pray? Why do we pray? And uh, what, is, what is your answer? Why do we pray? Why do we call on God? 
think about your own personal life and why do you call on God? Uh, uh, why do you call? I, now, I'm myself. I call on God many times because I need Him. I called on Him first of all when I was lost. And on my way to hell, I called Him then. But I had been, been maneuvered into a, a situation where I had to call. Now, I don't know about where you are and how you, how you met Jesus, but I believe in, in, in your meeting Christ, there was a situation where you were and you could not escape unless you did call on him. Yeah. Amen. He said, who said we call upon the name of the Lord? Shall, what? shall be saved. Yeah. So you yeah. shall be saved. Yeah. You know, I was in a situation where I had, I had no one to call on but Jesus. I had called on everything else in the world but Jesus. I had done everything I could over the years to avoid calling on him. I, it wasn't something planned by me not to call on him. It was my nature, my fallen nature was always to take care of yourself. Don't worry about this, don't worry about that. You got it, Willie. You can make it, you're good. Don't worry about it. But God in his infinite understanding of the human nature bottled me in a corner uh -oh. and I had to call on him. Mm -hmm. Now there are many in your family, in your neighborhood, in places you go that are in corners. You have daughters, I have daughters, I have grandsons, I have granddaughters who are in corners. And they need to know how to call. You see what I'm saying? You need to teach others how to call yes. on God because you call on Him. Yes. Yes. Now, if God rescued you, yes. He can I rescue those who. Yes. 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 That's what I'm saying. Yes. Yes. Now, you have to be very particular yes. in your maneuvering and your work. Mm -hmm. uh, you just don't go around telling people uh, how to get saved. When God is working with you, in your, if you're in spirit, he's working with you, he's working to see where this person, is, this person you're sharing with, where he is. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what I mean by that, if I'm going to talk to Claudia and I have to get some kind of relationship, most of us, I don't know what kind of relationship we got with others that are not, not in our family. If you just got family relationship, you, you, you need to go further. Mm -hmm. you, need, yeah. you need to step out of your comfort mm -hmm. zone mm -hmm. out here mm -hmm. and get in the real world mm -hmm. and begin sure. to disciple men to Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. So many of us are still in our little comfort zone yeah. and we do a lot of, of, of whatever, but we have a step outside of this comfort zone. You see what I'm saying? I come back here, I know what they expect from my wife, I know what they expect from my children, but can I go out here can I speak out here? Can I say, can I love this person out here? Can I love that person out here? But see, it has to be an effort on the work of the Holy Spirit to get you even to move in that direction. Yeah. 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 And to make, and to get a relationship with people that you don't necessarily desire to have a relationship with. Because Christ wants a relationship with that person. He, the only tool they have right now is you. The only person he can use is you. The only person he can send is you. The only person is he's discipled to the point that he can use you in a situation. Amen. Okay. Can you see that? Amen. That's why Paul said, um, how should I call upon him? Whom did not believe? I'm a believer. Am I? You believe? And how should they believe? Unto him whom they have not heard. How can a person believe in Jesus and never heard him? You, 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 now you, you heard and you saved. This person don't know a thing about Jesus. But you can't go and blabber, blabber your mouth and say blah, 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 blah. No, no. You wait for the opportunity for God to work with you. And I'll tell you something else. You have to form relationships with others. Your whole, your whole, your whole, your whole being is to have a relationship. I'm not talking.
talk about a relationship like something else, that's crazy. But I'm talking about how yeah. being able to communicate. Right. Mm -hmm. And over a period of time, be able to communicate. And you can say things today that you couldn't say yesterday. Amen. And you can say today that you, that you couldn't say yesterday. You're working around and working in to the, be smart as serpent but harmless as dove. You're working in where you can present Christ. Amen. Now, if you shut down and just satisfy where you are, you will never be to meet a, 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 a prayer person to the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. It'll take a lot of prayer. A lot of selfishness cannot be part of it. If you're selfish, you will never win a person to Jesus Christ. Because yourself, who you are, is always up front. When you put yourself on the back burner and put Christ out here and allow him to use you to his, to his, to his glory, you bring people to Jesus Christ. Now, I'm not saying you do anything out of, out of, out of ordinary to get people to Christ. You only present the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you love them, that's what you want to do. As yes. Paul said here, how shall it go except you've been sent? And you say you have been sent. You have been sent. Go ye into all the world and teach my gospel. Mm -hmm. Well, after the 12 disciples or 12 apostles are died on the scene, who's left? So that's not the, that's not the answer here. The answer is that Christ said, go ye into all the world and teach my disciples. You teach a disciple, and the disciple teaches you. another disciple, and another disciple teaches another disciple, and, and, and the church begins to grow and spread because disciples teaching. Preachers can't teach all the time. I have my little group, not group, but people that are attracted to me. The person attracted to Jay may not be attracted to me. The person may be attracted to James may not be attracted to, 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 to my wife. There are always somebody that God has in your, in your, don't say go call Pastor Harvard, don't say go call the alibi. No, you take care of the matter yourself because you are one of the disciples. <laughs> you go to the scripture and teach that person who Jesus is. You go to the scripture and teach them that God, Jesus went to the grave on the third day, God raised him from the dead. And you get that person to become a believer and call on the name of the Lord. He said, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The worst, the most difficult the people to, to disciple are those in your own household. And many times because we fail, we, we, we have such a hard time in our household, we fail to go out outside and look. We get disappointed because these are not up or going to church or these are not in Christ, all that kind of stuff. Yes, that's fine. But remember that there are others out there who need Jesus. We focus sometimes too much on those things that we have no control over. Amen. I was in jail talking about that. I said, if we just stay in our own lane. You know, you've heard the commercial, a guy uh, giving a tattoo or something, and he said, uh, the guy that he was given a tattoo gonna tell the guy that knows how to tattoo yeah. how to tattoo. Truth. He said, "Oh, bro, stay, stay in your lane." Stay in your lane bro. Yeah. And so, I have to make sure that I'm not fiddling in God's business. Yeah. Stay in my lane where I can do God's business. Yes. Some things He has totally under His, his authority, yeah. and some things He's given to me to work through me to work out. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? To love another person that doesn't love you. You first of all, if you're going to uh, win, a, win a person to Jesus, you can't hide. You have to open up. You have to open your own self. You intercept yourself. Tell people about you. I've been there. You have to tell them everything about you. But you can identify with another person's hurt, another Amen. person's pain. Amen. Amen. You don't want to minister to the pain. You want Christ to minister to the pain. Amen. Paul says, how shall they proclaim him lest they have been sent? It is written, how beautiful are the feet 
the feet are so beautiful because they carry the gospel. To those who announce good, good news, good tidings, mm -hmm. the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, in being a disciple, I think many times we can become like just sitting in our chairs, hoping that someone will come to Jesus. No, you got to go. And what I mean, I don't mean you got to do some off, some travel. Mm -hmm. You have to be in a position where Christ can see you. Yes. Christ knows you had your job, your family, your husband, your children, your responsibility, your job, your finances you have. He, he knows all of that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But see, all, but once he becomes Lord over your life, he becomes Lord over that too. Yes, right. That's why he said, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved and their what? House. House. Yes. That's a point I had to get to in my own house. I he gonna save my house, but if I spend a lot of time on my house, mm. I will never see what God is doing out here. He wants me to do that in my life. Yes. 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 You see what I'm saying? Yes. I spend all the time in my house. My house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Spend all the time dealing with my my, my things here, mm -hmm. and I've done all I could with my house. Amen. For it's time for me to let God handle the house and I get in my lane to do what God wants me to do. You see what I'm saying? It makes a lot of sense. The thing is breaking away from the house. Breaking away from my family. No, I don't desert my family. I encourage my family. I love my family. I share with my family. Do everything with my family. But I can't make them do anything. So, but God, through my out here doing what I should do in my life, God can make that yeah. work over here. If I just keep my hands out of God's business, yeah. we can't, can't seem to keep our hands out of God's business. Yeah. So true. So true. So true. Always sticking our hands in it, and soon as our hands, we mess it up. And wonder what God does. God said, well, get, out, get out of my way. Let me work on this. You work on what I'll sign you to work on. Amen. Amen. You see what I'm saying? So it makes a lot of, a lot of sense to me. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. All, Amen. Oh, was one who was sold out to Jesus. Sold out to him. I, I don't really know he had a family or not. I don't even know if he was married or not, but I, I'm thinking he was. At one time, a Pharisee, a Pharisee, a Pharisee, a Sadducee had to be married. But they don't speak about that here, but just thinking he had to be married. I do know he had a he had a, a nephew, because he was the one that warned Paul about they were about to kill him. And he escaped, I think, down through a basket of the wall. But the thing is, family is so important to God. You gotta remember that. Your family is important to God. And God made a promise that I, uh, I'll save you and your house. And that's what he told him. I think it was the Philippine jailer. Uh, and that night, you see now Paul had went down there in that jail where he was, crying and whining about his situation, about why he was down here. I think the other, man, the other fellow was named Silas, Silas, right? Mm -hmm. Silas and down in that prison. He's in the 16th chapter of Acts. And, um, <coughs> crying and whining about his situation. And most of the time, I, I, I find I'm guilty of myself, so I'm, I'm new. I'm, you're probably guilty too. You, you get to whine and crying about your, your present situation and why our things are not right here and our things are not right there. I wish my son would do it. I wish my child would do it. Well, just pray for him and stay in your lane when the disciples are right here. Stay in your lane. You see, you, you, all you can do is express Christ. And I believe when we are out of God's business here, that 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 over here can see more of Christ. Yes. Amen. When we stop whining and complaining and murmuring and giving short ounce and shrugging uh, off shoulders, mm -hmm. I believe that God can God can if we stop that, then they can they may see more of God yeah. in us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You, you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It is it's so critical 
that we win disciples of Jesus. Uh, winning another person to Christ. You have to at least get some understanding of who he is. Yes, you do. That's why I, 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 I know when we preach sometime, and, and years ago when we did revival, we asked him after the preacher after to come up and uh, give the hand to Jesus. But really, really I, I didn't know that person. I really didn't know him. And what I'm trying to share with you, believers, is that if you're going to spend some time with a person, I think it's the best time that you can share Christ. You can't share Christ. Um, Lo and behold, you, you say you don't go to church. No, you gotta spend some time. You gotta spend some time. You can't spend time with anything and learn anything about anything or anybody unless you spend some time. Amen. And if your time is that precious, then um, you, you, you're not gonna win too many individuals to Christ Jesus. Amen. I I I spend time with with Jay. I spent time with Rain, I spent time with Jordan, I spent time with my wife. But, you know, that, that's no guarantee the internet going to work. Amen. Christ has to be the one to save them. But my time I spent with them mm -hmm. ought to be the time that Christ was spent with them. Mm -hmm. See, Amen. when you're spending time with your wife, with your brothers or sisters in Christ, mm -hmm. it ought to be Christ through you spending time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? Uh, you, you're a stranger, I don't even know it. But I, I'm not going to shrink around him if he gives me the opportunity. I'm going to speak to him. Mm -hmm. I am. I'm going to speak to him. Mm -hmm. Claude knows that. I'm going to speak to him. Yeah. I'm going to speak to him. I say, how you doing, brother? I want to give him a hand and not go about my business. But see, when, you, when you're when you innocent, or, 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 you don't have anything in you that's offensive. Amen. Christ can work through you. Mm -hmm. So many of us as believers carry little things in us that hinder us from fully developing into being that disciple that Christ wants. You can't have anything in you to win another person. You'll never win them over. Because the, the, the flesh is going to pick that thing up. Yes. 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 They're going to pick up you love them like that. Just, they, they can pick that up. They can pick it up. If you, if you don't like me, they can pick that up. But if you're, if you're free of all those items in you, you have a great chance to win them over to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You got a little hate? Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to mess you up. Amen. You got a little malice? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, you ain't, you ain't, you, you ain't clean yet. Nope. Mm -hmm. That song said, clean me. Yeah, Lord. Wash me clean in your blood. You, you need to be cleansed. Yes. Amen. You got a little, little jealousy in you? Yeah. You, you, you? You're not quite ready to, to win a person to Jesus. Now, you may speak, you may cry, you may moan, you may pray for all of them, but I'm telling you, you got to get all that stuff out of you Amen. before you can really be a good disciple of Jesus Christ. Because so Jesus doesn't have any of that stuff in you. That flesh has to be cleansed yeah. of all those fleshly things for God to really use you until you can share with another about the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. You see what I'm saying? Amen. I wonder how much time does Paul spend with Timothy? <laughs> You, you know what he's dealing with? His he, 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 mother and Eunice, they were Jews, and Timothy was a, his father was a, a Gentile, so he was a half Jew. Half breed, if you call it, but half Jew. A, uh, Jewish, and I saw a boy on TV the other day, and I, I think that, that boy would be something tough. He's, a, uh, he's out of Japan, Hiroshima. He's played a forward for Washington. And, uh, He's a nice looking boy, but you can see he's a, he has, he was, uh, his mother or his father, one was a Japanese. Mm -hmm. You can see it all fresh in his face. Mm -hmm. But they love him. Now what I'm saying is, race has nothing to do with this. Right. Race yeah. has nothing to do with this. If you have anything in your heart against another person, it will, has a way of manifesting itself in, in out of you. You don't like white folks? I'm telling you, you know, you ain't a bitter good to God. You ain't a bitter good to God. No good to God at all. That's right. Amen. You ain't no good to him. That's right. That's right. You're no good to him. That's right. You are absolutely no good to God if you hate folks. 
That's right. Don't care what color he is. Amen. Right. You hate your mother, your brother, your, yeah. your, 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 your sister, or your neighbor, you ain't no good to God. Amen. You're not. Right. I don't care how you dress it up. You ain't no good to God. God can't use you. That's right. Look at our own set. How many people, how many boys and girls, how many persons have we discipled? Go here into all the world and teach, and teach, matter of fact, teach my gospel. And make disciples. Is that not this, this? This is the New Testament church. This is the church that's been called out. Yeah. This is the overcoming. Yeah. Now, if you are not there yet, you will never get that you carrying anything in your heart. Yeah. And you think that God won't bring it up in the judgment seat of Christ? No, no man after the flesh. Amen. Amen. If you just like or hate somebody, you're in trouble at the judgment seat of Christ. Amen. And I guarantee you, you never bought anybody Jesus Christ either. Amen. But you can't bring them with hate and malice in your heart. Amen. Because the Spirit cannot work through malice and hate. If you have not forgiven, you can't bring a person to Christ. You can't even talk about forgiveness because you never forgive. If you hate your mother or your daddy or sister, brother or next door neighbor, I'm sorry. You're not a disciple. You don't qualify. God qualifies you. The Spirit of Christ qualifies you. And He brings all that stuff in you that hinders you from, from, from Christ working through you and doing His mighty work in you. I'm talking about the New Testament church. The church that we talk about. The overcoming church. They don't matter where He is, they can be over there or over here. But they got to be a person that dead set on giving the things of Christ. All that hatred and malice and colors and, and um, sex and homosexuality, and all that stuff and nothing but sin. Oh, and one sin worse than another. Amen. The adultery is no worse than the homosexual. Amen. All of them against God, Amen. all is abomination in his sight. Amen. And so you like this person, like he, he, he gives a miss and you love him, but in front of y'all, you can't stand him. Well, something is wrong, you. You, 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 something wrong here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't have to be your friend, but I love you. I don't have to go along with what you're doing, but I do love you. You see what I'm saying? That's what Christ is. Christ loves them. It don't matter who they are, he loves them. Jew, Greek, or whatever, he loves them. But he has to be the, that person has to be disciple then till he gets to the point where he loves Jesus. Jesus. We love Jesus, all that excess garbage will drop off. Yes, it will. Yeah. Yeah. Stop lying, stop cheating, yeah. stop uh, fornicating, yeah. stop uh, yeah. adultery, yeah. stop all that stuff. Yeah. Because Christ in you, yeah. the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 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 You, yeah. you can't carry stuff out of your heart. Hate, your, hate people, dislike people, and don't want nothing to do with them. Because they don't think like you think. They don't walk like you walk. They don't look like you look. That's right. What you want to do is allow Christ to love through that. Because Christ loves it. Now, no matter how you think about it, I don't care what color it is, Christ loves the person. If you can't stand him, you better, you better check yourself. <coughs> because Christ is in you and he wants to love that person through you. Don't make no difference. Open door up there down south out there. Whoa. Uh, and uh, before I got there, he turned the loose door. Bam. Before I got inside, I walked past him. I said, How you doing, sir? He said, Okay. Hey, hold on that thing. That's him. He don't stop Christ from loving loving him through me. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Huh? Not you all that man. the Lord. You see what I'm saying? See, the devil does things, and a natural man does things. But Christ is in you, the hope of glory. He works through you. He maneuvers through you, through the flesh. To not do the things of the flesh. Amen. I don't want to do right. I can't do right on my own. You can't. I got a lot of Christ to do it through me. Yes, you do. Amen. Don't me do it, I fall flat on my face. Right. I'm always trying to, I, 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 the point of my life, I was trying to get people straight. But Christ finally showed me, he said, you, you stay in this lane over here, boy. Let me get the people straight here. You say, here, here's love. 
Jeff Love. Jeff Love. Jeff Love. And that be what Paul talked about. Stop talking about your husband, your wife, your neighbor, your, your cat, your dog, or whatever, uh, and, you, and the person down the road, and every time you get ready to sit down on the table, you got to talk about this. Talk. No, no, no. Stop talking about that and talk about how you can win a person to Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Christ in you, the hope of glory. And that's one more. And he said, uh, Joel. So not only was it in the book of uh, Romans, but even in the book of Joel. Joel 2.23. Joel 2.33. 2.32. Look at that. Anyone who calls on him. Look at it. On the name of Jehovah shall be saved. Anyone that comes. This is, this is an Old Testament. He's still saved. Not only in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament too. For Mount Zion and the Jerusalem will not escape as Jehovah said, even a remnant whom Jehovah called. Mm. You know, you, you ought to be so happy that we're the church have welcome. That we're in the overcoming lane. Thank you, Lord. Just make sure we stay yes. in the overcoming lane. Amen. 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 Not venture out. Thank you, Lord. Amen. For little subtle things can happen, you know. Amen. Can pick at us and pull us to the point that where we won't even look at a person. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. well, you can't look at a person and speak to them. Something wrong with you. In the in church. Amen. In, 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 in here. Mm -hmm. What's in your heart that you don't want to be revealed? Amen. Mm -hmm. Huh? Think about that. What's in your heart mm -hmm. that keeps you from, from looking at another person? Mm -hmm. Something that is there that needs to be removed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's so subtle, sometimes we don't pick it up. But if there's something there that hinders you from looking at another sister or brother, mm -hmm. something, I'm not saying stamina, but mm -hmm. there's something about, there's something here that hinders you mm -hmm. from looking. Mm -hmm. Amen. Turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, Have come unto me. Yes, Lord. All that labor. Heavily, and I will give you rest. Amen. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And you shall rest for your souls. Ask Christ to help you, or enable you. He's there, enable you to live out. The overcoming life. Yes, I think the one, one, one of the unique signs of overcoming is not that you're not into adultery, which you're not, right. but winning others to Jesus Christ. Amen. Bringing others to a saving knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see what I'm saying? <coughs> you can, you, one thing we can masquerade as good Christians, but one thing you cannot masquerade as a, as a disciple that won others to Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And that's not saying anybody here is not a Christian. I'm saying we need to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. Amen. Over the years, look at ourselves. How many have we actually won over to Christ? Just one. Just two. <laughs> that we actually knew that this person is saved because they know that Jesus saved them. Mm -hmm. Just one. But I'm sad to say I think that most of the time Satan has our mind on our immediate family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True. True. Even we change the way we look, change our prayers, change the way we, we do things mm -hmm. simply because of this, this one thing here that's irking me. Mm -hmm. Irking me. So I can't do what I want to do because this one thing here has me shackled. Mm -hmm. This one thing. I can't venture out because of this one thing. Mm -hmm. And all the Holy Spirit can show you what that thing is too. My suggestion is get on your knees, pour your heart of Jesus, and ask him to help you to become that disciple, that when other disciple, uh, tell him about the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And that, how can you how can you tell me? How can it tell you if you ain't been sent? Well, God called you, He sent you. You know Jesus. Well, 
He sent you to win others to Lord Jesus Christ. To win others to his love, his compassion, his strength, his, his, his comfort. He won, he did that to bring others out of darkness into his marvelous life. What else I have for you?